So B2, I'm gonna show you how to make a, well not make, but paint some sunglass frames. I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, they just paint it over, they tape up the stuff. I already taped it up right here. All those little uh, chrome buttons. And these, these glasses are cool because they have like a frame on them. I already took the screws out. You just pop them out. So you just have the frame. Careful not to lose those little screws. You just have a frame. A lot of people just like, you know, tape whatever they want to paint and paint it over. But you need a, you need to like give it a scratch. I got some steel wool. You need to scratch the paint out or like a little bit. You need to scuff it. See, this is like kind of like flat. I haven't done the other side. It's, it's like glossy. You can see the gloss. And you need to put like give us some scratches. So that the paint has something to grab onto. Mm -hmm. So all you gotta do is just this and get this and you scratch it. It's gonna do like a little little area so you can see the, the difference. Oh you can see that? See how one part is uh, reflective and the other is like flat. Hang on, let me see. Yeah. You want to do a little bit more if you want. I'm sorry, so close that I don't have a, a better angle. Just give it like circular motion. Because you need something to, for the paint to grab onto. You. Those scratches are perfect. Not too big, not too small. And if there are any deep scratches, uh, the paint will. Fill them up. Yeah, look. Let me show you. See how it's kind of like see scratched. Yeah, that's all you need. And then like you, you tape up wherever you want, and you paint it. And we'll see how it turns out. Okay, so what I did was I taped them all up. There's the camera right here. Taped the parts that I didn't want to be painted. And uh, just exposing the parts I do want to be painted. But don't worry, if you don't do like a good paint, uh, masking tape job, paint's gonna go anywhere it wants to, you know, that's what it does. But right now I'm gonna show you like uh, even strokes on the um, paint and, and not so so hard, just like a little bit, layer by layer. Because then it, it'll just like build up and then start dripping and it, it'll look bad and it'll just ruin your your project so here we go we'll do it before i don't want to cover the, the camera in it ready all right so there you go i'm just gonna do that that part just to show you this camera right here see just the bottom that's all I wanted to get done and the top I'll do it later but you have to let this dry like really dry hold up didn't get it good let me flip it so I get good there we go yeah you want that dry you know because then uh if you touch it, you, you leave your fingerprints and like I said, it's gonna ruin your project. All right, so I'm gonna uh, finish it up and then let this dry overnight. It's best to leave it dry overnight to get the best finish. And, and if not, then uh, yeah, you messed up, but it should come out pretty good. All right, I'm gonna show you how the finished product is. All right, so here you go. This is, uh, uh, this is the first coat. I'm still gonna do a second coat, see? We see how I just lightly sprayed it and didn't clump up or there's no like uneven edges. Just clear. Smooth like like I said if you scratch it with the steel wool and there's scratches. They're like very small scratches that the paint will fill up. And so you, you won't be able to see it and that's what the paint grabs onto. So like, it's not going to peel off on you. 
That's only if you uh, scratch it, but if you don't scratch it, it's like you have a possibility of it peeling off on you, and that's what you don't want. So you go, I think I'm going to do a second coat just to make sure that the black is evenly on there, but make sure it's in like even sprays. Uh, if anybody wants to know the type of paint I used, it's a quick color, fast drying all purpose spray enamel. This is a flat black. I got it at the Home Depot. You get those at uh, for like a dollar twenty, I think. I use stuff for everything. I have a uh, there's they have the uh, glossy black, a glossy white, and then the flat. And you know, I use that for everything. But I will tell you this: if you just spray something with the white, it's gonna turn yellow on you, like over time, and it looks kind of nasty. So what you want to do is spray a base coat of the flat black first and then spray white and like it'll make the white pop really good and it won't turn yellow on you and then, yeah there you go so i'm gonna do a second coat then leave this out to dry i cannot emphasize that you know as many times as i could but you have to let it dry I have to emphasize that for you guys. You have to let it dry or else, like, if you touch it right now, you're going to leave fingerprints and it's, it's going to mess it up because then you, you'd want to, like, spray it over with it and it's going to, like, you're going to overlap a lot of layers of paint and it's going to look bad. And you're going to have to, like, do it all over. And yeah, it's, it's just, just don't do it. Just let it dry. I know it's tempting, but just let it dry and then put it back together the next day. Make sure the paint's, like, super dry. And then there you go. You're going to have some pretty good glasses. So I'm going to let this dry and then assemble it. And let you guys see how the finished product came out. Alright, uh, for anybody wondering how uh, I'm painting this. I already painted the coats. So I'm not going to paint it no more because I forgot. I know some people want to know how how like to paint it. So I'm going to show you on this wood. Oh, my bad. Look. Okay, this is how you get it. And I'm almost empty with this, but here you go. I'm gonna cover the D of the the wood part or P. This is how you do it. I'll oh, see I'm almost out. Like that. Just, just even lightly strokes don't be like you know what I mean just like even well I'm gonna show you like this like even though there's no paint coming out that's what you want to do so if you if you want to start here and then go over here do this and then you see how I made this overlap let's see I'm gonna do this like, pretend I I'm gonna paint here to here go like this and once I'm done with that, you want to do here, in the middle of that, to the O. So you go like... You know what I mean? Because you want to overlap the paint. So you go like... That's why you see people going like... You know what I mean? That's because you, that's what you want to do. You overlap it, and, but not too much. Just enough. You know, and then you, that's your first coat. Cause it's, it's gonna look like this, like kind of like not well put on. But the more coats you put on, that the more evenly spread it puts out. Instead of just putting one thick layer on it and having the the paint drip, so we're gonna do like one layer at a time, you know. Cause evenly, you let the first layer dry, and you put the second one, and you put the third one, and you put the fourth. One. But it's gonna be like make it even, not just one nasty paint drip job on you. So I know that was long, but I know some people just don't know how to paint. So this is a little quick tip. It's kind of a long tip, but it's going to make your your project look even better instead of just having a, the paint drip on you. So there you go. So here's the final product. Like I showed in the picture, I put a clear on it. It came out pretty good. You know, if you just want to buff out with some compound, one of those rotary brushes, just buff.
buff it out and it'll come out more better. But it came out pretty good. See, it has a good gloss on it. I just put the flat. But then, like, I looked. It looked cool, but it was better when it had, like, a clear reflective on it. I would just take the tape off. 